straight to Baghdad now and seen as Kira Phillips. Kira? You know, Don, it's interesting. You hear a politician make a comment uh, like this, uh, and, and I wonder really how much Harry Reid has been able to spend time in Iraq and the areas that he's traveled to and how exactly he comes forward with that comment. Because if you live here and you work here and you see what's happening in this country, uh, you'll see that you can't just say you're winning or you're losing because there are areas where progress is being made. There are also areas where there's utter devastation. So to come out with a blatant statement like that is really tough for commanders to hear. And and it's interesting, even as a journalist, that's a question that I wanted to ask all the leaders uh, in this country, whether Iraqi or U.S., and I, I have had the chance to do that. And then I realized I can't just ask such a general question. Is the U.S. winning this war? Is Iraq uh, winning this war? When I asked uh, General David Petraeus, the head of all forces here on the ground, he said, Kira, it's not that simple. I define winning as certain pockets of progress. And then he went into detail about those certain pockets of progress. I just left a meeting with the head of CENTCOM, Admiral William Fallon. I asked him the same question. He said, it's not that easy. It's not an issue of winning or losing and coming out with that blanket statement. But I can tell you about areas in Iraq where they feel they are winning. Even the defense minister here in Iraq, I asked asked him that question. But his answer was interesting. He said, I feel that we will be winning when the Iraqi army can secure this country. So when you talk to the key people here dealing with the issues of this war, those are the answers that they give. That's how they describe and define winning or losing. You can't just make this wide statement, whether it's a loss or a win, but you have to look at the little areas of progress. And uh, Kira, a number of uh, people back here, some leaders even coming out, uh, speaking against the war, saying that it's lost. Are any of these comments back home affecting the morale of soldiers on the ground in Iraq? Well, it's always discouraging when you have a leader uh, like uh, Senator Reid coming forward saying uh, we're losing this war. I mean, nobody wants to hear that because if you live here and you're fighting against the extremists and you're trying to build the, the political process, whatever part you're taking uh, or taking part in here, you, you want to believe uh, in, the, in the end result, a positive end result. And people here are very realistic. They know there is a lot of chaos. They know there's, there are car bombs. That that haunt this this country. That's one of the the most difficult things. Even the defense minister uh, here said to me, it, "It's my biggest challenge right now." And U.S. military commanders agree with the same thing. But bottom line is they are doing what they need to do, and that is working on security and trying to build up the Iraqi government. So whatever Harry Reid says, yes, it's disappointing, but it's not going to affect how everybody operates here because it's just, it's, it's not that easy uh, to just uh, listen to one comment and let it affect uh, so many important issues that are, that are on the table.